everybody all over the world. Hi, I'm GPS, and today you can see there's black stuff on the sides because my my room is actually kind of small. Oh, well, not really. Today I had an idea that we should try broadcasting in a wider format, uh, which is standard for uh, Blip TV and other viewers and stuff now. 16 by 9. I used to broadcasting 4 by 3. So, but I haven't got an HD camera yet. But in the next episode, it will be later, I will have an HD camera. And it's going to be awesome. Yeah, that's right. So today, it's called Toss That Sandwich. We're going to be looking at the heavy, playing with the sandwich unlock today. Uh, and seeing how that affects gameplay. Because how it works is that the, uh, the sandwich here replaces the uh, shotgun. And the sandwich, you can eat it. It heals you. And you can throw it to somebody and it heals the half of their maximum health. Sounds good. That's the that's the basic idea of the sandwich. So why don't we just go right into the game here? I have everything loaded and everything prepared. Yes, awesome. So let's see here. Yeah, there we go. This is Pillar Upward and it's a pretty short replay. So he's gonna be running out here with our low FPS. Throwing a sandwich and make make take the sandwich. You take the sandwich? Good. We're just gonna go die we, we're just gonna die um is what we're gonna do because apparently dying is good um you know that, that was the whole idea um, you throw the sandwich uh to anybody and they they pick on it and they heal and then you die no you don't die uh try not to die that was just the opening and then i died uh portion of our show so you're gonna be moving on to the god damn it it's too wide. I need a bigger screen. Shit. All right. Regardless, regardless. Let's see. There we go. Yeah. All right. So we're just going to be moving on to the next replay, and it's going to be on the map King of the Hell Harvest. Which is a map they added in the Halloween update, and we're not going to go too much into that because most likely you play this map at some point, and if you haven't, just play on a stock map, and you will eventually end up in the map. So we're going to be showing you some heavy... Physics stuffs as well as other. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go. Oh, fists? I'm not using fists. I'm using the gloves. I'm running urgently. Yeah, here we go. Vroom, vroom. All right, here we go. Here we go. Gotta run out. We gotta run out to the middle. Gotta cap the point in the middle. Let's cap the point in the middle, guys. All right, shooting around with my medic. All right, we're capping the point. Capping the point. All right, there's some dudes over there. All right, just keep my gun spun up, shooting. All right, pretty good. We got the point. Tossing that. Sandwich to the medic. Medic, just take the. You take the. You. You combusted. You didn't take the sandwich. Okay, running back. Picking up the sandwich we threw out because we threw it to ourselves. Because you can do that too as well. Heals you 150 health because you're heavy and you have 300 health max and half of that is 150 the last time I checked. So that is true. So uh, we're just going to be lagging a bit in the replay, because replays also do lag indeed. We have another heavy on the point. All right, let's fall back and defend. Because currently our team has um, two spies, two heavies, a medic, a soldier, a scout, and another heavy that just went scout. And the other team has like three spies, two demos, and a pirate and a soldier. So uh, we're doing pretty well. There's another spy there. Keep in mind, the counter to spies are just turn the fuck around and they can't stab you. In the back, they can stab you in the front. Doesn't do as much damage. I'm just gonna be sitting here, uh, being kind of bored and be like, yeah, I'm just hoop -a -doo, hoop -a -doo, yeah, hoop -a defending the point here, hoop -a -doo, hoop -a -doo, yeah, defending the point. That's what we do. We defend. I'm already standing on a point, medic. And nothing's really happening because the enemy team is derping over there, and I see a spy. Almost fell asleep there. Be like, yeah, I'll just go. Oh. And then I died. Uh, so we got to see uh, me throw uh, the sandwich uh, to myself and then pick it up. It's a good way to uh, put you out of your flames. And if you have lost less than half of your life, it heals you completely uh, as a heavy, which is really good. Exactly. So uh, we're going to go into the next replay here. It's going to be on the map Control Point Gorge. Attack defend map similar to Dust Bowl, only that is only one stage. 
and that's it. Uh, it has similar elements and all that stuff. So, what we gathered so far is that it replaces the shotgun. Uh, doesn't make you able to like move around and shoot at the same time, which the shotgun allow you to, but you can heal. Healing is super ultra important and medics will love you for it. So let's just jump right into this. This is control point gorge. We're on defense. Noob about in time. There we have a medic that has a girl's hair and a pink mask. Because apparently that's a girl or something. Gee, I don't know. Let's move out. Let's continue. All right. Doing the gloves of running urgently jump. And in case you don't know what it is, uh, I don't really see anyone me do it. Uh, I'll try to explain. Uh, the gloves of running urgently makes you run faster. And if you run and the jump at the same time, you don't lose any speed while jumping. Yeah, that's a key feature in uh, Team Fortress 2. So what I do is that I run with the gloves of running urgently, and then I jump, and then I switch to my minigun in midair, and before I land, I switch to my gloves of running urgently, and then I jump again, and I switch, and I turn. So only when I land and touch the ground, I'm, I'm wearing the um, gloves of running urgently. And this makes you... Uh, lose less life. Uh, it that makes the tick go slower and you move just as fast. And you're, we're going to be seeing that a lot today and we're actually going to cover that uh, later, but I'll just explain it further for you. So here we go. We're running over here. And we're going to be defending. Looking around. Nobody over here. All right, let's do, 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 jump around, jump around. I'm getting up. And now we're getting down while we're jumping around. Yeah, that's right. So now people are on fire and just gonna be yeah throwing it to the medic and someone else picked it up. That's fine. There's a heavy over there. Gotta go get the heavy. Oh, that's a spy. All right, just gonna ignore the spy for now because you probably didn't see him. Sneaky bastard. All right, so uh, we have. Uh, general defense here and a lot of lag for some reason sniper out doesn't do anything just killing everybody getting crits from the medic the most uber broken thing known to man except for normal uber and heavy and now people are on the point we see that and then we're gonna fall back people are sapping our stuff looking around looking around all right all right that went well we defended that well uh the engineer uh fixed the sentry gun and uh I keep killing everybody. Our medic uh, is somewhere. He's, uh, he has a plan I'm unaware of, apparently, because I have no idea where he is. Anyway, he's still defending, still defending, and right now we see some total bullshit. There's three sentries and no dispenser. How on earth are you gonna supply this? And anyway, keep in mind this standing in front of the sentry gun while the engineer fixes it and using you as this sort of a meat shield is really good when you're playing heavy. It's like, hey, was that a spy? Yeah, that was a spy, yeah. Getting the spy. Jumping right back. Oh yeah, getting the crits, killing more peoples. Doing the damage. Doing the damage. Alright. Oh shit. Alright, fall back. Fall back. I'm out of ammo. Hey, medic, take that. Yeah, getting the medic uh, sandwich. Killing him halfway. Now a spy sapped all of it. And now an engineer gets the clue. He's like, yeah. Yeah, maybe we should try building a dispenser. Awesome. Yeah, so back to the replay and back to the game. We see another heavy over there, just gonna kill him because I have more health than him and I started shooting first, therefore I'll win, but then I died. So that we showed us some uh, gloves of running urgently jumping and stand in front of a sentry while the engineer like fixes, repairs, or upgrades it. It's really, really, really good. Not a, not a lot of people do that. Because they just keep thinking, me, 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 and more me. But actually, it's called Team Fortress, and it's a team. So, any team that has better teamwork than a team that doesn't have teamwork, but the team that doesn't have that does have teamwork has the less skilled players, will still win. So, we're going to look into the next replay. It's still going to be on CP Gorge. We're still on defense. And the replay's loading, and hopefully it won't crash. Everything will be good. All right, we're back in the game. We're back in the game. Gonna jump around a bit. Gonna jump around. Seeing a spy. He's on my team. All right, you're my spy. Tossing uh, the sandwich to the medic, healing him fully. 
Too bad you can't see health on replays, as far as I know. We're still gonna defend the point, and uh, the sentry rig has fallen, and the engineers has to build smart. Alright, then we get a crits, and just gonna kill everybody. So the engineer decides to build a... He, okay, he decides to build a sentry first. That way, uh, if anyone attacks, it'll die. You know, wouldn't want to build like a dispenser or something, so you can like heal and gain more metal. Uh, at all. Ever. Just saying. Just, engineers, just build a fucking dispenser first, right? It's not that hard. I'm seeing a medic tries to go head on against a heavy, not a good idea. I'm seeing a sniper. Keep in mind, you don't have to be afraid of a sniper because he can only, he, like, he needs two shots to kill you and you only need, uh, I don't know how many bullets, but less time to kill him and he needs to kill you and also your bullets flinch him, making it really hard for him to hit you. Sorry, is still defending, the enemy team consists mostly of snipers and spies. Yeah, three snipers and three spies, yeah, that's gonna do well. Um, they won't be able to do shit because, yeah, uh, we're a supportive class, but we don't have anything to support. Yeah, so we're still just defending, running back and forth. Not overcommitting or running into the enemy spawn and dying. And like, yeah, what's over here? Alright, shit. Shit! Fucking spy, ah. Uh, there's three spies, one of them got me, ugh. But did he make it to the point? No. Was it worth him killing me? If he didn't follow up with anything? No. Just keep in mind, like, if you kill somebody, it's gotta be, like... Some sort of like reason for it, you know, like take your space, capture the point. He's like, Yeah, I'm gonna kill you, and then I'm gonna fall back to my spawn. So, whoa, holy shit! Okay, uh, if all of you just like tilt your head like this and watch the next replay, uh, it's gonna make a lot of sense because here we go. This is a replay, and it's very skewed. It looks like some kind of horror movie. But that's fine, that's fine, we're just gonna speed things along. Alright, still 19 seconds to go. Alright, here we go. I've eaten a bit of my sandwich and I'm ready to kick some ass. Use my gloves are running urgently and having my head slightly tilted. Alright, there's a pirate there, yeah, get him. Get him, yeah, getting compression blasted with another rocket flying really high, but that doesn't matter. Doing the gloves of running, urgently jumping, or, or grew jumping. And, uh, medic uh, didn't die, so my other medic died. And we're, I'm just like ignoring everybody, I'm like, yeah, you gotta go on the point. And what's this? Uh, sentry gun level one, and a dispenser, that's unfinished. Yeah, alright, you be late there, engineer. You gotta punish you and just kill your stuff. Alright, is there anything up here? Engineer gets taken out by the scout. He's carrying his stuff, and that's another example of you should never ever build things in the spawn and then carry them out because a scout can come and kill you, and that makes it a total waste of your time, and you'll lose the, whatever you were building. So just build a teleporter, run out, build it in the field, it's easily defend it, and actually goes a lot faster. So do that. Oh, stupid engineers. So now we're gonna be capturing the point, uh, unlike the other team that just looked at the point and were like, Yeah, that's a mighty fine point. I think I will look at it and enjoy the scenery while my team gets slaughtered. Because I'm a spy. <laughs> I don't need to do anything. Yeah, there's a sentry up there, alright. You're just gonna build it. Yeah, you're gonna let it upgrade to level from 1 to 3 in front of sentry fire. Not a good idea. As you can see, the heavy just kills it instantly. So, uh, still haven't used the sandwich that much. Alright, just doing some more uh, glue jumping and uh, going around the corner. There's a pyro there. Oh, is that a spy? Yeah, a spy. Yeah, getting the spy. Alright. Come on, team! Let's go! Let's go, team. Yeah, jumping over here, jumping over there. Alright. Oh, shit. Alright, that's a scout. Alright, get the scout. Get the scout. Alright, get the All right. I'm Uber Charles. Let's go! Okay, Uber Sandwich. Yeah, get it. Who got it? Who got the sandwich? It was probably the pyro. Alright. Getting the stuff, killing the stuff, alright. Oh, I just realized something. I don't have to show you the FPS. <laughs> it's just for me to know. Crap, I died. But we got the point, so it was worth it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, uh, keep in mind that also this is like sort of a um, HD uh, test episode. I'm testing the 
not HD, but like the broader format. So it will fill the entire screen of Twitch TV. And so far, it's kind of low on FPS. I'm going to have to try and fix that. But regardless, we can look at the next one. Let's see. That was the Uber Sandwich Toss. Because today is indeed the Sandwich Toss episode. I'm going to be tossing the, our sandwich to our friends and not really hogging it to ourselves because you're actually carrying a portable health kit. Is what it is. So I'm just going to jump into the next replay. And uh, since uh, you might remember for, from the last replay, we sort of like steamrolled the entire enemy team. So the team's got auto scramble and now on attack again. Alright, that's fine. Does your team have a medic? No. We, I got five spies on my team. So if I ever see a fucking sentry being online, I'm going to be angry. So now I'm just throwing the sandwich to myself, healing myself about 150 health. Because I was probably over 150 health when I took the damage. It takes like 24 or 5 seconds for the sandwich to uh, recharge, unless you walk on a health kit while having full health. So we're just gonna keep on uh, running up here, uh, attacking on the point. Yeah, what's that over there? Right, there's an engineer, gonna kill him. Demo man with a sword, kinda bad against the heavy with a minigun. You know, don't bring the katana to a minigun fight. Yeah, you see how that far that got you, stupid ass demo. Alright, so I see a guy that has uh, teleporter stuff, so yeah, maybe it's teleporter. Come here, medic. Come here, come here. Come here. Yeah, there you go. Throwing the sandwich to you. Everything's good. Alright, the sentry up there. Yeah, just gonna kill the sentry. And let's cap the point again, guys. Capping the point. Alright, let's stand. Holy shit, there's a lot to do there. Alright, defend. Attack the. Def oh, shit. Shit, that didn't go well. Damn it. <laughs> that was horrible. Oh, but at least. I saved my medic, sort of. Uh, he got full health so he could die later. No, 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 no. Yeah. I have so little space on my screen. I need another screen. Buy me another screen. So, uh, we're gonna move on to the next replay, which is gonna be on the map Control Point Freight, which has been quite a lot featured on previous episodes. Uh, if you haven't played it yet, I just suggest playing on any stock map server that has server switch, uh, switches maps, and not really playing a 24-7 server, because that's kind of lame. Boy, did I just upset a bunch of people. Ooh, the two fortune dust balls and gold rush forevers. <sighs> Play all the maps, man. Get some variety in your Team Fortress 2 stuff. So this is a control point frame, uh, we're just uh, attacking and I'm giving the sandwich to a soldier because he was almost dead. He's happy and I'm happy and I'm recharging my sandwich and we're making a push. Me and my team still don't have a medic because, you know, who wants medics? Ugh. What a boring class to play, ugh, so boring. Keep in mind that if no one is medic on your team, just play fucking medic. But if your team mainly consists of snipers and spies and scouts, uh, medic won't do much good, so... Unless you have like soldiers, demos, or heavies to support, uh, playing a mag won't really get you that far, so that's kind of dumb. So I'm just gonna be up here and killing everyone by myself, having a sandwich. I'll be like, is it safe to eat here? Yeah, I guess it is. All right, all right, my team. All right, we got a mag now. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So he's gonna see a sniper down there, right? Kill him, killing the medic. Now we're gonna jump down, all right? Killing everything, and then dying. But at least we gave our sandwich to a good soldier that was running the wrong way, and probably did no good at all. But hey, at least he's happy. Exactly. So uh, we're gonna move on to the next one. Which is uh, a fail toss when you try to toss a sandwich, but the person you're trying to toss it to is like, "No, I'm not gonna pick up your sandwich. It's on the ground. Ugh, that's not healthy or clean or anything." Ugh. So we're gonna run out of here, and I see like, "Oh, the medic, you're low. Medic, come here. I'll just toss the medic, 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 medic. Take the fucking sandwich. Medic, take the the sandwich over. The take." No, all right, let's just go then. Oh, there's a spy there. He hit him, let him kill him. Maybe you think he's not a spy, right? Killing the soldier, running back. All right, let's cap the middle point. 
Another heavy, I spun up before you and I got overcharged, yeah bitches, alright, the most imba broken thing to man, a uber heavy, yeah. You try to run, you try to run, yeah, come on, killing the medic, killing the medic, oh, let's see, what's up here, oh, someone's up here, ooh, I wonder what's gonna happen. What do you think, hmm, this looks kinda cool, the soldier's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna go down here, I'm like, yeah, get back up there, yeah, another soldier's gonna come, and I'm like, come here, I'm gonna kill you, Rawr. Die, bitches. All right, getting the medic. Got the medic. Yeah, getting the medic. Medics heal people, and heal people is a problem. I'm gonna throw this sandwich to myself, because my medic is God knows where. He has a plan I'm unaware of, and I'm gonna fall back. Fall back, and there's a spy over there. I'm super low on health. Gotta get the medkit. Medic! Where are you, medic? All right, all right, got the medic. Got the medkit, all right. Killing everything. All right, cool. Train's here, all right. That buys us some time. Medic, get, get here, medic. Medic, get a medic. All right, let's get on the floor. Oh shit, there's a lot of bombs on the floor. It's all right, guys. Just gonna shoot at the sniper, try and make him not kill me while I die. So that didn't really go well. Ooh, what a disaster that was. Whew. First of all, I threw like the sandwich after me. I'm like, medic. Catch. And um, he's like, no, no, I, I don't like sandwiches. <laughs> I'm sandwich intolerant is what I am. So we're just going to go straight on to the uh, next replay is what we're going to do. Still on control point freight, still trying to make a push. Just keep in mind in these kinds of maps, uh, you sort of have to be really aggressive and not that defensive. Because if one team decides, like, hey, we're gonna go, like, six engineers, uh, the game's not gonna go anywhere. Uh, I mean, they won't be able to move out, and you won't be able to move in. And things will just go in a stalemate. So, uh, we, we got the middle point here, and my team is derp derping slowly forward. Seeing spy there. Whoa, shit, alright. Alright, let's go that. I'll go around and get the soldier. Let's get the soldier. Did you get him? You didn't get him. Alright, let's, let's get him. Alright, get him, get him, get him. Alright, fuck that guy. All right, he's dead. All right, he's dead. All right, let's let's keep moving, guys. Whoa, is that bombs? No, that's our bombs. All right, this is a handy little trick you can do. Cause keep in mind that if you're at full health, no matter what kind of health kit, if you throw away your sandwich, it will replenish your sandwich. So this health kit right here heals. Uh, I don't know exactly how many percent, but it's less than half of your health. It's like half of your half of half of your health. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw my sandwich and then pick this up. And then I've left a larger health kit for my teammates to pick up later. While I still can have another sandwich. So that is really, really, really good. Uh, I advise you as a heavy to do that a lot when you have the opportunity to like exchange the lower health kit for a sandwich. I mean, it doesn't last forever, but chances are uh, someone might find it useful and you are credited to team. And the more useful you are to your team, the better and your larger chance you have of winning. Because, uh, Center of winning is dependent on how well uh, you are useful and not exactly how many people you kill. So I'm gonna throw the, it to the medic. Uh, generally, if the medic sees me throw uh, the sandwich, you don't have to absolutely make sure that he picks it up. Because you can be like, yeah, I throw it and it's up to him to, to catch it. So uh, I'm just gonna punch the spy and I'm gonna run with the gloves running urgently. Soldier decides to taunt. Uh, not the best idea. Alright, let's keep on. There's a. There is a train here, giving us some ample time and the other team to regroup. All right, let's go. Oh shit, there's people there. All right, killing the pyro. As it's heavy, there's so lots of bombs on the point. All right, let's get the heavy and then we're gonna get the bombs. And now we're gonna show you something that is really good very strategically. If uh, you look at this um, positioning right here, I'm giving them a choice like either you go for the medic or, and get killed by me or else you go for me and let the medic cap the point. That didn't really happen because the spy killed the medic, but this is really good. The medic is behind cover here, and the heavy is here just doing a bunch of damage while the medic is capping. And we actually got this because the pyro got it, so I'm sure if he was aware of it or not. Regardless, we won, and the enemy team lost. We got to hear, hear this, and the other team heard this. Which is good, when you don't hear that booing stuff. Yeah. So... Moving on to the next replay. Uh, so so far, 
we shown that uh, we showed guru jumping, which is not related to the sandwich in any way at all, but it's uh, quite uh, interest, uh, quite uh, important for the heavy. Uh, you can eat the sandwich and you can throw this throw the sandwich, and if you're at full health, you can exchange a lower health kit for a sandwich that heals half of your total health. So that is very useful. Recommend everybody that uses the sandwich do so. And pay attention to your teammates' health. Uh, it doesn't take more than a glance at your teammates to see what health they're at. Especially medics. Medics have a huge priority when it comes to who you want to give the sandwich to. Uh, always the medic, because the medic is the one that heals everybody. So let's say you're at 1 HP and the medic is at 1 HP. You give the sandwich to the medic and let him heal you. If you eat it yourself, chances are he'll die by some, some random spy or whatever, coughing on you. Like, ah, oh, medic, I have 1 HP. And the spy just goes, ahem. And then the medic like, ah! Because apparently coughing deals at least one damage in Team Fortress 2. Like yeah, medic, get get the get the get the sandwich, medic. Medic just um, oh, all right, you're not gonna get the sandwich, just gonna run away and die. All right, cool. Uh, let's push the cart, guys. Let's push the cart. Pushing the cart. Pushing cart. All right, all right. Come push the cart. Pushing the cart. All right. We're on upward, and it's going upward. Which is good when you're doing the map's names. Same with Badlands. If it, you're doing bad on um, Badlands, no, it's not good. It's still bad. The gentlemen come there, shooting, killing us with the bombs. But I failed to throw. So that's not really my fault, is it? Uh, I throw a sandwich at the medic, and all the medic had to do is fucking step on it, <laughs> and he heals you. He's like, sandwich? Nope. Don't like sandwiches. Uh, which is also going to be the theme for uh, the next replay. She's entitled Look at Sandwich. Just fucking look at the sandwich, alright? It heals you. Step on it. No matter the team. Because keep in mind, it's enemy sandwich still heals you. So if you're uh, throwing your sandwich in a crowded area, make sure to not throw it to the enemy. That would be dumb. So we're seeing the Gru jumping. Ah, uh, this is how it looks like. Lag there, thanks to the new format. Alright, we already saw this. Shit. That was stupid. <laughs> there we go. This was the one I wanted to show originally. Goddamn. Alright, so we still haven't pushed a cart so far in uh, in this replay. So we're gonna keep on waiting. Jump using the gloves of running urgently and jumping. Yeah, crew jumping. Medic, just stop. Uh, just run. Medic. Medic, you you have to um medic. You are kind of far behind. Alright, cool. No matter. Keep moving on, keep moving on. Alright, there's lots of bombs there. Ooh, devil man. I know the devil man is weak if I'm too close. Alright, come here, devil man. Yeah. Can't even get oh shit the holy mother, that's a lot of people. Alright, I'm just gonna hide behind this rock here and wait for my sandwich. Because hiding behind this rock is really useful. I'm like, hiding behind the rock. So many dudes up there. Alright, throwing it to myself. Alright, let's go! Roar. Oh shit, alright, I'm on fire. Gotta fall back up. Oh shit, that didn't go well at all. Anyway, right, you saw the medic? I was like, here, medic. Here's a sandwich. Voila! And he just went back to the spawn. Probably on the phone. And he's like, yeah, mom, I'm playing Team Fortress 2. Just holding his S button. Running as far. As far back as possible. And we're going to be jumping into the next replay. Which is called... At least I tossed it to someone. Which is good. So we're still on payload upward, and this is a slightly after the replay we saw kind of twice. So just doing the uh, jumps here, the jump. Too much of people spinning up the gun, shooting, doing damage from a distance. Pyro is generally pretty bad against heavies. Have you ever played heavy or pyro? Knows that. All right, I got a medic. We got the medic who's like, you're nine. I do not want your sandwich. I will find a way and die. Instead of having your tank. So just seeing a bunch of people up there shooting them. 
There's a bunch of people up there doing damage. There's bombs everywhere. All right, let's go. There's a heavy up there shooting him. Pushing the cart. Keep in mind, if the cart also heals, I'm like, yeah, medic, medic. Oh, you jump down. I'll just throw this sandwich. Wait, what? All right, that was part of our plan, I guess. Uh, at least my sandwich is here and will be picked up by nobody. All right, at least I threw it somewhere. So, all right, we just uh, keep in the cart. To... Oh, there's lots of bombs. Like, whoa, shit, getting a bit close. Bombs get scattered. All right, keep pushing. Keep pushing. I mean, we go push and then we die from a crit rocket. Oh, those random crits. Such strategic elements. That's right. So, uh, let's see. Moving on to the next one, pretty, pretty short one. Just another example of the sandwich toss. Come through the plate. I'm not sure where the plate is or where it comes from, but it's there, regardless. So we're still, we managed to get the point in our spawning here, pretty close, and we're gonna attack. All right, there's a heavy on my team, and I see he's low health. All right, mister, you can have my sandwich. Here you go. <laughs> he's like, sandwich? No, I'll... I'm okay. Oh, that was a sandwich? All right, cool. I'll... Uh, I might eat it, you know. It's good for my cholesterol and all that stuff. And uh, holy shit, Batman. That did not go well. Got blown away. I got blown away on top of other bombs that blew me up. Not a good way to go at all, ever. So we're going to be looking at, uh, we've seen some tosses, some tosses where you throw at the medic and the medic gets healed. We've seen a throw where the medic avoids the the, the, the sandwich and runs away or like it's some kind of curse. And we've seen uh, when you throw it to a teammate and he dodges it and then he picks it up later. And we've seen the throw when you throw it somewhere and nobody picks it up. So what, what remains? Well, it remains the fail toss. When you try to throw it to someone, but someone else picks it up, that's the fail toss. You toss it fail. Alright. Who's gonna go up here, doing some damage? Like, alright, Medic, you can have this. <laughs> and now this guy, this guy right here, he's like, I want the stomach. And I gave it to the heavy, and the Medic most likely burned to death. Soon. Alright, alright. Just gonna run out here. I know there's a health kit down here. Doing some brew jumping, saving my health, gaining more distance. And what was that? Ugh. Swords again, axes against uh, miniguns? Not really good. Not good at all, actually. So I'm just gonna keep moving around. And now we see. Oh, was this sentry guns without dispensers? Oh! And uh, for any of you who don't know, uh, if you see a sentry gun, an engineer, uh, and the engineer doesn't have a dispenser, you can just keep shooting at the sentry gun and then it dies because he doesn't have any metal left. Exactly what we're gonna do. It's gonna keep shooting the sentry gun. That's being repaired by a guy that has no metal. Yeah. Good. And, oh, holy shit, that was a pyro. Jumping on the health kit, killing the pyro, and then extinguishing myself using the sandwich toss. A I see a sentry below me, I'm like, nah, fuck that, I'm just gonna kill his bombs instead. I'm gonna jump really far, because if you jump while being shot, you shoot forward. And then I die. But hey, at least I killed a sentry, and I pushed the bomb a little, and we're really close to winning, so... Dying on blue on offense is not that bad, as long as you push the cart at least a little. And then you can feel a little bit good about yourself, and say, yeah, at least I died, but at least... Well, I died, but at least I pushed the cart some. So that was the fail toss. Be like, have this medic and heavy just goes, no, 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 no. I took your sandwich. Um, so yeah, keep in mind that when a medic is healing you and you're using the sandwich, uh, keep an eye on the medic's health bar. It's like in the middle of your screen if you're using the standard HUD, which you probably are. Uh, so this is Pela upward. Uh, no, it's a Pela high tower or whatever. It's a Pela raise map. We got, a, we got two cards and we got a push. Alright, we're ready. So we're just gonna be standing on a cart, shooting everything around me. We have two medics, they're a pretty good team. The other team doesn't have a medic, therefore they suck. 
we kind of steamroll them pretty good because we have medics and they don't. Ah, what a bunch of newbies. I'm going to go scout because scouts are fast. <laughs> Alright, cool. Awesome. You threw the, threw the sandwich at the medic. Did it? Nope, but he picked it up and then he died. Alright, whatever. We're still pushing the cart. Don't pay attention to that. Alright, cool. Stop some people. Alright, pushing the cart. Pushing the cart. We threw a sandwich. Nobody ate it. Kind of a waste, but uh, give me 24 seconds and it will be back again. Alright, move it up, move it up, move it up. Rocket Tempting Soldier. Alright, still gotta push the ball. Still gotta push the ball. Doing the objective. The other team is not pushing and we're pushing, that's good. The other team can just die for all I care or be elsewhere. Oh, turning around. Just in time, hearing a spy this guy. Re uh, cloak. E cloak, in fact. Keep in mind the counter to spies is indeed uh, turning her in. And killing the heavy. And then shooting everybody around me because it doesn't do any turn damage. Oh, Pyro keeps pushing me back, but he doesn't do any damage, so he just made the inevitable. It is inevitable, Mr. Pyro. The heavy will kill you with his um, big minigun and keep steamrolling your team. So I threw it to the Pyro. I uh, wanted to throw it to the Meg, but the Pyro's in the way. I guess that's good. It's still teammates. Everything's good. Everything's fine. And now we're on the hardest push. That requires lots of team coordination. As you can see, we totally have this coordination. Holy damn. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to push right now because it's like tons of blue guys and our team is half dead. Getting a uh, health kit and then running into the fire of a heavy and then dying, but that doesn't matter because we push the bomb across the entire map in one go. <laughs> and I threw my sandwich as a pyro. So uh, we're going to be looking uh, at something else regarding uh, the tossing is that you should take time to toss. As a heavy, it's not all about always having to do as much damage, but if you're carrying a sandwich, like keep your medic alive. Is what I'm saying. So if your medic gets low in health and you're shooting someone, just like stop shooting for a second and uh, just ignore that sound. What? That was nothing. That was nothing, I tell you. Uh, just keep keep in mind that uh, your medic might be low in health and stop shooting and just throw in, this, his, in the sandwich and keep shooting. It's not that hard. So this is uh, Payload Thunder Mountain. It's going to be speeding things up until it starts. Jumping around with my sandwich. Mission begins in 30 seconds. Mission begins in 30 seconds. Mission Alright, we're out. Popping the Uber, seeing a spy behind here. Don't let him get here. Just sneak a business. Seeing a medic. Tries to engage me. Doesn't go well. Kill him. Seeing a demo. Doesn't go well. He blows up. And now we have to push the cart. Oh, is that a spy? Yeah, running into my gun. It's not a good idea. I'm just a spy. Pushing the cart, pushing the cart, doing your deck too. Alright, alright. And I was like, yeah, staying on the outer side when I can be a pirate, this completion blasts us into our certain death. Oh, I might not want to do that. So I kind of keep on pushing, there's like tons of shit up there. We don't care, we just push in the cart, we deal with stuff as it comes. Because I'm slow and fat and have a huge gun, uh, I'm just gonna stay in the back while all the other uh, faster classes uh, do their business. Just keep in mind the cart. Uh, Moves only with three person speed at max. And then you see, taking some time, throwing the sandwich to the medic, stopping whatever I was doing. Because the medic was low on health. And the other medic was like, I'm not gonna heal a fellow medic. Of course not. Ugh, medic's healing medics? Ugh, that's dumb. So still pushing the cart. So now everybody on some fire. There's a pyro there, getting the pyro. Nice kill there. Sniper, everything's good, everything's fine. Now nah, just going in here, yeah, kept it from that point. And then dying to a sniper by getting crit by the bushwaka. You whack me good with the waka. So that showed uh, how you can take time to just throw the sandwich to your medic. Just like stop whatever the area is you're doing and just throw in the sandwich. Like 90% of the times that would go well. Other times it would go terribly wrong. But no, even if you did or not, it would still go terribly wrong. So we're going to go into the next replay here. It's going to be good. I 
Exactly. So this is still on Thunder Mountain. This, he's on the last last area because we just steamrolled the previous area in one go. Didn't die or throw a sandwich at once because the enemy team doesn't have a medic because they suck. And we do have two medics. That means we're twice as good as they are. So just doing the guru jumping here. Uh, switching to jumping and switching to the guru as I land. And look down here while my team pushed the cart. And we just kind of proxy up the engine, uh, moving the health kit a bit further. Seeing it down with the pan. The pan is not better than uh, minigun. The medic gets my uh, sandwich. Sniper comes in and a soldier came in before that, killing them before grabbing more health. Killing four people by myself, not unusual for a heavy. Killing a sentry gun, killing the engineer, killing a pyro. All by myself, using my sandwich. I'm gonna throw the sandwich to myself and remain pushing the cart. Right, pushing the cart. How do you push? You just stand next to it, that's what you do. So medic in the back, healing me, nice work there, medic, pushing this together. Then the other medic's like, oh yeah, no, I'm a medic and I'm not gonna heal you, yeah. I'm just gonna stand <laughs> he's just gonna stand and be like, Yeah, I'll be in front of the bomb, boys, I'm in the front. Look at me, I'm in the front. Do, 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 do. I'm in the front, I'm the medic. I'm... All, right, all right, guys, I'm just gonna run over here. And, uh, yeah. Well he, well, he totally ignores that we have to push the cart and heal and build Uber and all this stuff. And then, yeah, he's back. Oh, he got a clue. And holy shit, we're taking a beating. We're taking a beating. All right, come here, Rennick. Come here. Throwing a Yeah, I took my time to throw a sandwich. And holy shit, crit rockets. <laughs> and that's what I mean by, regardless of what you did, took the time or not, it would still go on pretty shit. Two crit rockets followed by another crit rocket equals dead. Not big surprise. So we're gonna go on and look at another kind of throw or toss, which is the unnecessary toss. Like when you toss to someone and it's totally unnecessary is what it is. So we rolled the other team on offense, and now we're gonna defend, and we are doing a pretty good job because the enemy team. Oh, holy shit, they got a medic. Damn. And then we're gonna jump down here and start here doing damage. Don't want to reconnect the medic is healing. I was like, oh, the medic is low on health. I'll just throw you a sandwich while you're right next to a dispenser. Unnecessary. You can just wait and let him heal. And not waste your sandwich to you save for later. Oh, what's that? Is it Uber going on? What's that spy? Oh, that's a spy. Alright, get the spy. Alright, get up. Get up. We're on overtime. Getting the medic. Oh, getting the soldier that's shooting me first. And then getting the Gerardi soldier. Getting three kills right there. Nice work. And jumping down the card. Blocking anyone that's here. There's another pyro there. Maybe he's generally good against pyros. And then we won! Yay! So we're just gonna move on to the next replay. It's just gonna be good. It's gonna be good. And it's loading. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So we're on offense on payload, uh, payload frontier community made map. Fairly good. Has a gigantic cart. Looks really scary. Do not get hit by that because it kills you. And here we see you doing the uphill uh, groove jump, making me uh, get there just as fast and not lose as much health. That's fine, right? That's fine. Maybe died somewhere as a spy, I don't care. Just pushing the cart. Turning around. Seeing stuff down there. Well we move and do our business. We do and do our business right. Still shooting, we're getting healed by the medic, alright. This pretty good is like uh it's like a fast train, express train. 
doesn't stop at any station. Pyro, running towards the heavy, not a good idea. Another pyro, towards the heavy, also not good. Reaching our almost final destination, and now we're reading ready for the final push. We did not see the spiny corner there, doesn't matter, he doesn't do anything. We got a pyro that can just care of everything. Sniper with a bow, generally not very good against the heavy, and alright, alright. Alright, let's go, let's go, medic. Alright, uber tired, alright, you're low on health, I'll just throw you the sandwich, and we can go together, just stop. Oh, shit. I trusted my medic, but he didn't follow me. Sad day indeed. So, while we're on the on the fail part of our show, this episode, sometimes you do indeed throw the uh, the sandwich to the wrong people. Because sometimes what you want to do is that you're like, yeah, I'm gonna go down there later, and I'm gonna throw a sandwich, and when I'm low on health, I'm gonna step on it. It's a general good idea. Like you prepare for taking damage and then healing yourself. So just doing the guru jump again. Uh, the group jump is not good if you if you stop in the ceiling. I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna throw it down there, and then I'm gonna jump down. Yeah, oh shit, Pyro took it. Fucking asshole, Pyro. I took a Pyro, didn't matter. Look at this. Oh shit, a Sentry. Oh shit, a Sentry. Can I take the Sentry? Yeah, I'm really low on health. Will I be able to take the Sentry? Hmm. Well, let's see. Uh, the engineer doesn't have a dispenser, so that means he will run out of metal before I run out of bullets. Just gonna be fixing it. He's like, she's like, shit, I'm out of metal soon. All right, better, better fucking wrangle it. And then it died and be like, yeah, come here, engineer. Getting the engineer as well. And as you can see, to all engineers, just build a dispenser first. Oh, it's not that hard. So now we're gonna be making a push. All right, just waiting for the health kit. All right, yeah, I'm gonna eat this. All right, let's go. Let's do this. All right, we got Uber. All right, medic, just run in the front. Medic, you just, you just have to run in the front. Run in, medic, just run in the front. Take the damage. I can't move forward by myself. Medic, just run. In the, oh, like damn it, this didn't go well. <laughs> it didn't go too well that either. Oh. So that's going to conclude our last replay for today. And also, I have a Steam group that you can join, and it will have all kinds of announcements and all kinds of stuff regarding uh, episodes and archives and streams, and you can post stuff there, I think. Yeah, you can. And uh, it's going to be uh, generally pretty good uh, if you do that. Uh, I also, I'm also on Twitter. Oh, and the, oh, yeah, I forgot the group name. It's called High GPS. Just go to steepcommunity.com. Go uh, search for High GPS. You'll find it. It's also in the description below, uh, in the comments section, or whatever. You can join. All announcements will be posted there. Also, I will not like for. I will take like a week vacation or so because I'm getting visitors from my home country and I'm gonna spend some time with the family. It's gonna visit me in Korea, so. No show uh, next Wednesday or Saturday, but I uh, will let you know the topic that you can send in your replays for. And this is going to be a pretty vague topic, and that's going to be to uh, send your replays of you being in a, like, you're killing people in a good position or being, like, owned by someone in a good position. It's all about positioning. Like, learning how to, like, position yourself appropriately for dealing maximum ownage, ponage, and all that stuff. So that's going to be good. You can be any class you want, use any loadout you want. You just have to be in a general good position or a terrible position. Like, let's say you're on the low ground. There's like three soldiers on the high ground just like owning you. Uh, that's the sort of thing you want to see because we want to know like how you got into the those situations, how you can possibly get out of them. And also uh, how to shoot to uh, take advantage of certain areas of the map for you being able to do a lot of damage. So that's going to wrap it up for today. Thanks for watching. I'm the general problem solver, and I will see you sometime later. Thanks. And have fun. <laughs>